Welcome. Learn about Hoffman La Roche and Cobus 6800 and systems. F. Hoffman L.A. Roche AG is a Swiss multinational healthcare company that operates worldwide under two divisions, pharmaceuticals and diagnostics. Its holding company, Roche Holding AG, has bearer shares listed on the Sixth Swiss Exchange. The company headquarters are located in Basel. In March 2020, the Roche Diagnostics Division reached a significant milestone with the FDA approval of its high-volume SARS-CoV-2 diagnostic test. Capable of analyzing 1,400 to 8,800 samples within 24H on the proprietary COBUS 6800-8800 molecular testing system. COBUS system offers highest walk-away times for meaningful work-away time. Ready to use reagents, do not require thawing, mixing, or pouring. Automated onboard storage and refrigeration system enable ready access and maintain inventory of consumables and reagents. Radio frequency identification and barcodes ensure full traceability from sample into results out uni and bidirectional LIS interface simplifies order and result handling. It offers molecular testing in three easy steps. Load, reagents and consumables. Load, samples. Empty waste and review results. Allows for mixed batching, making it possible to perform up to three tests in the same run with no pre-sorting required. Optimizes sample utilization, allowing you to process up to three different tests from the menu using a single patient sample. Simplifies testing workflow by using universal processes, consumables, and reagents so you can run any test when you want. Offers a broad and expanding assay menu to meet your needs today and in the future. A dedicated priority lane enables fast and easy handling of high-priority samples. The company controls the American biotechnology company Genentech, which is a wholly owned affiliate and the Japanese biotechnology company Chugai Pharmaceuticals, as well as the United States-based Ventana. Roche's revenues during fiscal year 2018 were 56.85 billion Swiss francs, or approximately 57 billion US dollars. Roche is the second largest pharmaceutical company worldwide. Descendants of the founding Hoffman and Ori families own slightly over half of the bearer shares with voting rights, with Swiss pharma firm Novartis owning a further third of its shares. Roche is one of the few companies increasing their dividend every year for 2018 as the 32nd consecutive year. F. Hoffman La Roche is a full member of the European Federation of Pharmaceutical Industries and Associations. History in 2011, the company received the International Society for Pharmaceutical Engineering Facility of the Year Award for Process Innovation for Roche's Mido's Clinical Supply Project. In March 2011, Roche acquired PVT Probenvertile Technic GmbH for up to 85 million euros. In July 2010, Roche acquired MTM Laboratories AG for up to 190 million euros. On October, Roche acquired Anadis Pharmaceuticals, Inc. for $230 million. In December, Roche announced it would acquire Munich-based Verum Diagnostica GmbH, gaining entry to the fastest-growing field in the coagulation diagnostics market. On June 26, 2012, Roche announced the closure of the Netley slash Clifton campus which was completed in 2013. The property is in the process of remediation. In July 2013, Roche Diagnostics acquired blood diagnostics company Constitution Medical Inc. for $220 million. Later, in September, Genentech announced it would acquire a rate corporation. On April 7, 2014, 
Roche announced its intention to acquire Iquum for up to $450 million, as well as the rights to an experimental drug from Spanish company Orizon Genomics for $21 million and up to $500 million in milestone payments. On June 2nd, Roche announced its intention to acquire Genya Technologies Inc. for up to $350 million. In August 2014, the company agreed to purchase California-based pharmaceutical firm Intermune for $8.3 billion, at $74 a share this represents a 38% premium over the final share closing price. As well as Santeris Pharma AS for $450 million. In December 2014, the company acquired Next Generation Sequencing Processing Company Bina Technologies for an undisclosed sum and did release GmbH a developer of Next Generation Antibodies. On January 16, 2015, the company announced that they would acquire Trophos for 470 million euros in order to increase the company's neuromuscular disease presence. The deal will center on the Phase 2 and 3 spinal muscular atrophy drug Molasoxime. In April 2015, Roche acquired Cat Medical and its chief development of technology for cancer screening and monitoring via the detection of circulating tumor DNA. In August, the company announced its intention to acquire Gene WEAV, Inc for up to $425 million in order to strengthen its microbial diagnostics business. Days later the company acquired Kappa Biosystems, Inc. for $445 million, focusing on next-generation sequencing and polymerase chain reaction applications. In October 2015, the company acquired Adiron Therapeutics for $105 million. In January 2016, the company announced it would acquire Tensha Therapeutics for $115 million upfront, with $420 million in contingent payments. In January 2017, the company acquired Forsight Vision 4. In June, the company acquired the diabetes management platform, Mysegra GmbH for an undisclosed price. In November, Roche acquired Vuix, Inc. In late December, the company announced it would acquire Ignita, Inc., expanding its global oncology business. In February 2018, Roche announced it would acquire Flatiron Health, a business specializing in U.S. cancer data analytics. For $1.9 billion. In June of the same year, the company announced it would acquire the outstanding shares of Foundation Medicine for $2.4 billion. Later in September, Roche announced its intention to acquire Tusk Therapeutics for up to 655 million euros, expanding Roche's oncology pipeline. Tusk announced that the anti CD38 antibody it is developing will be spun off to form a new company, Black Belt Therapeutics. In late November, the company announced that Genentech would acquire Jacura Therapeutics, gaining access to Jacura's portfolio of NLRP3 inhibitors developed to fight inflammatory diseases like non-alcoholic steatohepatitis and liver fibrosis. In February 2019, the business announced it would acquire gene therapy company, Spark Therapeutics, for $4.3 billion US dollar adding Spark's gene therapy portfolio to its previous acquired assets. Spark has an already approved treatment for Labor's congenital amaurosis, Luxterna, priced at $850,000 per patient per year. The offer to acquire Spark Therapeutics was extended to May 2019 after Roche was unable to garner majority support from Spark shareholders. A second gene therapy related action came in December with the 1.15 billion US dollar acquisition of non United States rights to an investigational Duchenne muscular dystrophy gene therapy developed by Sarepta Therapeutics. In November, Roche acquired Prometeor and its lead treatment, PRM 151, for the treatment of idiopathic pulmonary fibrosis. For $390 million upfront and another $1 billion in milestone payments.
In March 2020, the Roche Diagnostics Division reached a significant milestone with the FDA approval of its high-volume SARS-CoV-2 diagnostic test. Capable of analyzing 1,400 to 8,800 samples within 24H on the proprietary COBA 6800-8800 molecular testing system. Thank you for watching this video. Goodbye.